the thing is, Christianity is not religion. And so if it's not religion and it's something living, then it's something growing. It's something developing. It's something expanding. How many of you are farther along now than you were, say, 10 years ago, 20 years ago? You've grown, haven't we? We've all grown. Hallelujah. That's the beauty of Christianity. We, we, when we get saved, we became a new creation in Christ Jesus. And it says we are complete in Him. But for the rest of our lives and our journey, we're learning what complete means. We're growing into completeness even though in Him we're complete. Some of the things I do uh, don't seem complete. But it's knowing Him and knowing that that's the whole purpose of God is that we are complete in Christ Jesus and we get to develop into that, grow into that. We get to move from glory to glory and from revelation to revelation and from one move of God to another. And it's all building on our relationship with Him and our understanding of Him. and The joy of just being with Him and in His presence. And people are at different places, different uh, levels of growth and development. And you know, that, that's, that's where we as, as believers need to be sensitive that we need to know where people are so that we can respect what the Holy Spirit's doing in their lives. Because we're not the standard. You understand? We're not the standard. I'm not the standard. You're not the standard. Gateway Church isn't the standard for what God's doing. Jesus Christ is. <laughs> it doesn't matter how big or how small a church is, they're not the standard. They may be doing what God's wanting them to do, and we believe that. But we are not the standard. We are a picture. We are an example. But Jesus is the standard. And that's why we can't compare ourselves amongst ourselves. Otherwise, we're qualifying and disqualifying people yeah. in all of our lives. You know, That's the way of the world. It's not the way of Jesus. It says we are complete in Him. So wherever a person is in their walk with God in Christ Jesus, they are complete. They don't lack anything. That comes out of Colossians. Amen. It's, it's a schnittendice. It's a schnittendugende. It's good. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, so we just refresh ourselves from time to time because how many of you know that we are challenged on what we believe? We are challenged on what we practice. We are challenged, uh, if not on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, something comes along to test us and to try us, which is okay because it says the trying of your faith is what? More precious than gold. And so, you might as well be... A bes you might as well expect that you're going to be tested. In the world you have tribulations, but be of good cheer for... I have overcome the world, is what Jesus said. So, part testing is just part of it. Now, it says, Count it all joy, brethren, when you fall into divers temptations or testings, because it's working good. And so, it's not that we can avoid them, they're going to happen. It's just our relationships, our attitude towards them. <laughs> uh, when you see a test coming, just say, help is on the way. Amen. Here comes help. Yeah. You want to help me get a little better understanding of how good God is? You want to help me grow a little bit in grace? You want to help me figure out that God's for me and not against me? Amen. And that He's going through me with it. Amen. There's never a test that He leaves you by your own, Misty. Oh, she's not here. Okay. All right. 